Candace Tyler showed us inside her makeshift home for the last nine months. Not much room for two children and a husband and a wife. A travel trailer parked in the front yard of her brother's Placerville home. What are you doing, you little peanut? Trying to make the best of things ever since the Caldor fire <laughs> destroyed their place in Grizzly Flats. This is the last time we saw ever saw our house. I was we were getting ready to drive away. Here's another picture of what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like today since cleaning up the mangled metal the fire left behind. We lived on one of the original homesteads in Grizzly. Uh, my husband's family had been there almost 120 years. History lost in the blink of an eye, she says. A story shared by hundreds of Grizzly Flats residents, where many were either underinsured or uninsured altogether. They couldn't afford the fire insurance because it was so expensive. El Dorado County points out when President Joe Biden visited and saw how many people lost their homes, he said we're going to take care of them. But the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, has twice denied requests from state and local officials for individual assistance to help Caldor fire survivors rebuild. Honor your word. That's all I'm asking. Supervisor George Turnbow made a final plea in a video the county released last week. This is our last hope. It really is. Up to this point, FEMA has said the impact from the fire was not of such severity and magnitude to warrant the aid. To that, Tyler says, We lost our church, we lost our fire station, we lost our forest service station, we lost our school. Like, how much more of our community did we need to lose in order to get assistance?